So the topic I'm going to be covering is determining the difference between type 1 and type 2 muscle fibers, uh, how muscle recruitment works, and what the size principle is. And what that has to do with, in retrospect of this topic, is why does jogging or lifting weights not result in hypertrophic muscles? Uh, so before I get started, I just wanted to let you know that there's two different types of muscle fibers, uh, type 1 and type 2. Uh, type 1 muscle fibers are more oxygen efficient. Uh, they use this basically uh, fast twist oxidative muscles to generate ATP, which is what our muscles are used for fuel. Uh, they have longer lasting contractions over extended periods of time. And usually that these muscles are usually slower to fire in the uh, neuromuscular junction of a motor recruitment. Um, usually they are found in long distance runners. Um, these are the reasons why that they have a greater uh, fatigue or greater length of time before they fatigue. Um, they're fatigue resistant in a sense is what the muscles are initially called. And these are the type one. So type twos are usually your anaerobic muscles. They create uh, quick bursts of energy, explosive strength. Um, but unfortunately, these types of muscles are usually quicker to fatigue out. Um, and there's two, several types of these muscles. There's type 1 or type 2A and type 2B, or also known now as type 2X. Um, usually, type 1 and type 2 muscles fire with the same amount of force. However, type 2 usually gets its name because it's firing quicker and uh, the type 1 can last a little bit longer. Um, so when the type 2 is most of the time what you think of because they're fast twitch muscles are your weightlifters because they have that explosive strength, uh, football players, sprinters, etc, etc. Uh, so the type 2A, those are known as your intermediate fast twitch muscles. So they're kind of in between a type 1 and a type 2. Um, they have that use of oxid oxidative fast twitch muscles that they are able to use either aerobically or anaerobically, and that's how they're able to create energy through their metabolism. Uh, now the 2B or 2Xs are known as your classic fast twitch muscles. Uh, these are the pure anaerobic muscles. Um, they usually have the highest contraction rate, um, and these are the ones that actually are the first to fatigue, your fast twitch glycolytic muscles. Um, so with that being said, um, through specific exercising, what you can actually do is uh, through specific specificity, you're able to transform some of these muscles depending on what the sport or action is that you're completing. Um, for a individual that wants to become a long distance runner after their training, so forth, of long distance sprint or long distance runs and carrying that forward, those individuals are able to kind of transform those type 2B, the really quick fast twitches, into that type 2AB, further on to a type A, so they're able to transform. You can have someone that's used to running a 100 meter sprint in high school, goes into college and decides they want to do long distance, and they train, 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 and they can actually become a long distance runner. Um, so with that being a segue, what is muscle recruitment? Uh, so muscle recruitment is basically the motor unit which is the part of a muscle where the axon is attached to a nerve and so forth, and that goes up to the nervous system. So it is the quote unquote motor unit recruitment is a very dependent on the force production. So with that being said, the smaller amount of force, the less requirement the body uses. If it doesn't need that much strength, why bother? So it's going to use those type ones first. Um, so it's going to be carried from the smallest motor unit type 1 to the largest motor unit, which is type 2, A, and B, or X. Uh, so this gets into the size principle. Uh, so Henneman was a uh, professor at Harvard, and he created the size principle that stated that under a specific load, motor units, those are the uh, attachments for the muscle and nerve, are recruited from the smallest to the largest. So what this means is that the slowest muscles, or slower twitch muscles, the low force, the fatigue resistant type 1s, those are going to be activated first um, when there is not a high amount of load. Then the fast twitch, high force, less fatigue resistant, the type 2s, will then fire to help if the load is great enough. However, that being said, if you go to lift a 100-pound weight, those type 2s are going to kick in immediately because it's the stronger fibers and you need more strength to lift up that weight.
Uh, so some of the benefits of the size principle uh, is you're able to minimize the amount of fatigue that someone would go through of performing an exercise. Um, so if you're starting off with a decent amount of weight, you're not going to necessarily kick in those type 2s immediately. Um, so you're able to reduce some of the fees, reduce some of the fatigue that someone might have with lifting weights or performing an exercise. And secondly, with the size principle, because you are going from the smallest to the biggest, you're able to allow the body to maintain that strength that it needs to accordingly to the weight. And also, you're allowing for fine motor control, because if you have an explosiveness, you're not going to have that fine motor unless your body's been used to it. Um, so to just uh, do a little wrap up, motor, your motor unit is that motor neuron plus the skeletal muscle that it innervates. Uh, force is just that weight or pressure that you are perceiving on the body, kind of like a barbell pushing or pulling against that. Uh, the effort is how much effort is required, how much that your body needs to perform in order to lift the weights. And then finally, intensity is the amount of repetitions that you can do. Um, mostly nowadays what people think of is a percentage of your one rep max. Um, and that's basically the amount of force that is be able to resist. Um, so when thinking of type 1, type 2A, and type 2X, what you think of is someone doing a squat with a little bit of weight, it's going to be your type 1 fibers. When you start to up the weight a little bit, you're going to have your type 1 and type 2As. Um, with those type 2As, you're kind of kicking in a little bit beforehand after you rest. And finally, when you're kind of doing a decent amount of lifting, um, either that or a one rep max, those type 2Bs are going to kick in first before anything else. Um, and that's pretty much it. Um, actually, on in a patient uh, point of view, uh, if you're training with an athlete that has questions regarding how muscle contractions work, um, what type of muscles they might have, generally speaking, for a type 1 muscle fiber, that patient is most likely going to be um, a long distance exercise person, swimming, um, biking, running long distance. Uh, they're going to be your athletes that are able to withstand decent amount of resistance on the body or just time exercising. Your type twos are going to be those explosive runners, the power lifters, the sprinters. Um, so basically in layman's terms, um, because the body is using that motor recruitment, you're never going to really get hypertrophic muscles because the body is specifically knowing when much muscles to fire. So if the load is small at first, uh, the body recognizes how much body or how much force is required. So therefore, it's only going to exert X amount of strength. Um, once you start to increase the weight, the body gets put under more stress. Therefore, the body is going to need more uh, recruitment for those muscles, so that's when the big ones are going to come in. So every time that you're increasing your reps or resistance, your body's getting used to what you're already doing. Therefore, the only way to really get hypertrophic muscles from either running or to um, lift weights is to steadily increase that weight immediately, like jumping from 10 pound to 50 pound reps. That's the only real way you're going to get it. Just general running and strengthening training, you're not going to have severe gains with muscle size or um, hypertrophic muscles. Thank you.